Good evening, Zahir Abbas. I'm a physician associate and osteopath. Can I confirm your phone number and date of birth, please? Yep, yeah, Nasiruddin Patel, 11th May 2000. Nasiruddin Nas, would you prefer? Nas is fine. Thank you. Nas, um, how old are you now, please? 22. 22. The consultant has asked me to conduct a neurological examination of the upper extremities. There are various components to this. It includes me assessing the sensory aspect, the motor, the tone, and the reflexes, amongst a few other components. Would that be okay? That's fine. Because there are various components, I'll talk you through those as we go along, and you're not overwhelmed by the information. Um, in order to actually conduct the examination, I'll need you to expose the arms as you have, or otherwise remove the upper garment in the ideal situation, whichever you're comfortable with, we can work with that. The um, examiner here will act as a chaperone, if that's okay with you. And if you get comfortable to lose the top, if you don't mind, remove the garment, do so. In the meantime, I'll, I'll get some uh, gloves and sent out my hands. Is that okay? Okay. Or if you're comfortable as you are, that's fine. I'll start with an end of bed examination. And that's just ignore me now for the sake of the examination. Are you warm? Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. In any pain or discomfort? No, I'm not. So. Lovely. If you want me to stop like I say at any point, go ahead if you just say, and we can take it from there. No problem. In the bed examination, I'm going to look for any clinical paraphernalia. I'm looking for any walking aids, the likes of crutches, walking stick, zimmer frame, wheelchair. There doesn't seem to be any signs of. And any medications, the likes of epilim, sodium valproate, anti-Parkinsonian drugs, the likes of coca or dopa and, and others. Again, there are no such uh, medications or adjuncts. I'm then going to look at the patient themselves. I'm going to look for any scarring, any visual wastage of the muscle, any atrophy, any muscular imbalances any fasciculations, any resting tremors, or any involuntary movements, again, of which there are none. Now, so I'm just going to now ask you in a moment to close your eyes, but before you do that, what I want you to do is just bring your arms up like so in front of you, and now close your eyes, sit, give a pronator drift, again, no signs of, and you can open your eyes, relax your arms, bring out one hand like so for me, please, and with the other hand, I want you to do this one as fast as you can, if you will. Lovely. On the other side again, if you will. Wonderful. And relax for me. Taking your finger for me like so. I want you to touch your nose and then touch my finger, please, if you will. That's it. Keep doing and again. Good stuff. And there is no intention tremor. And I'll the other side if you will, please. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Let's just confirm you've no pain and discomfort in your shoulders or otherwise. No, I'm so. just going to move your arms around a little, okay? You don't mind me. I'm assessing the tone here. I'm assessing for cogwheel rigidity, class nerve rigidity, or lead pipe rigidity. Um, that's no floppy thing. All indications of upper motor neural lesion to complete the test for the higher centres, in addition to the three that I've just done there. Now we're going to test the muscle power, if I mind. Just ask you to do that for me, if you will. I'm going to push your elbows down very gently. I just want you to resist that motion. Is that okay? That's good. And now the other side. And relax. Bring your arms like so for me. I'm just going to ask you to pull me towards you, if you will. And relax. And now push me away. And relax. Bring your arms up nice and straight for me, please. Nice, nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. That's it. I'm going to push this down. I want you to resist. Okay? Good. And now again. Good. And I'm going to do the opposite side. And again, resist. Good. And resist. Good. Just play your finger that for me, please. Don't let me squeeze. Good man. Hold on to my fingers for me. Hold tight. Good step. And relax. Give me a thumbs up if you will. Don't let me push down. Don't let me push down. Okay, lovely. And relax your arms. And I'm just going to test the reflexes. Nice and floppy again. Just completely heavy. That's good. So C5. C6 the breaker. So that was biceps. C6 breaker radialis. You can... Good. And C7 triceps, rigid neck. Nice and floppy next. Just let it go completely heavy. Lovely. And now the other side, if I may. Nice and floppy again. Good. Lovely. Nice and heavy. Good. And now the triceps. Good. Lovely. So that was C5, C6, C7 on both sides. Didn't require any uh, reinforcement. Good stuff. Okay. Nice. I'm now going to move on to some sensory testing, if that's okay. So I'm going to use this cotton wool here. I'm going to ask you to just hold your arms out like so. That's perfect. I'm going to touch various parts of your arm. Every time you feel it, I want you to say yes, nice and loud and clear. I'm just going to touch this on your forehead here so you know what it feels like. Is that okay? Lovely. Feel that? Yeah. Lovely. Close your eyes when you're ready. Okay. 
Yep, T5. Yep, T5. Yep, T6. Yep, T6. Yep, T7. Yep, T7. Yep, T8. Yep, T8. Yep, T1. Yep, T1. You can open your eyes if you want that. I'm going to repeat the same thing with this muddy pin. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Once again, I'm going to touch here. Just keep your eyes open so you know what it feels like. Lovely. Okay yep. with that? Okay, close your eyes when you're ready. Yep, T5. Yes, T5. Yep, T6. Yep, T6. Yep, T7. Yep, T7. Yep, T8. Yep, T8. Yep, T1. Yep. T1. Lovely. You can open your eyes. Thank you, Matt. So what I did there was the dermatomes. Because we've got coverage here, in the ideal situation, I do it at the, lat uh, the lateral deltoid, just over here where the badge goes. That's ideally the C5 dermatome, but that's also covered, so I'm not of concern. And I did C6 on the thumb, T7 on the tip of the middle finger, C8 on the tip of the little finger, and then T1 on the medial aspect of the forearm. Do that on both sides. Okay, now I'm now going to assess the vibration sense, a couple of other senses, is that okay? I've got a tuning fork here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on here so you know what it feels like. With the actual test, I'm going to place it on the actual tip of your thumb or on this joint over here. Is that okay? Yeah. When it stops vibrating, I'm going to ask you to say that as well. Okay. Again, you'll do this as close as what before you close your eyes, just so you know what it feels like. So I'm going to touch you over here, okay? So just tell me, can you feel that? I can feel that. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. In your own time, when you're ready, close your eyes. Tell me when you can feel it. I can feel it. And tell me when it stops. It stops. Wonderful. And either side of the other finger, tell me when you can feel it. I can feel it. And tell me when it stops. It stops. Wonderful. You can open your eyes. Thank you. And last but not least, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assess the joint position sense. So I'm going to move your thumb up and down. Just so you know, just open your eyes, keep your eyes open, just so you're aware this is down, this is up. Okay. Close your eyes if you will. Up. Down. Down. And the other side as well. Up, up, down, down. Wonderful. You can open your eyes. Now that marks the end of the examination. I'm happy for you to get dressed and, and collect your belongings. Do you have any questions for me? I do not. I'll just present my findings to the examiner or for the sake of the video. So this was I so just before I present the uh, joint position sense that I did was here with the joint itself. So the thumb joint and I held on to the lateral aspect so as to isolate the joint. Not over here, not down here. And notice by holding here, I can isolate that, that distal interphalangeal joint. That's what we were assessing. Okay, with the vibration, we can either place it on the tip over here, or otherwise the first empty yeah, 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 interphalangeal yeah, joint. Yeah. Now, this was an otherwise unremarkable neurological examination of the upper extremities in 22-year-old mass. Uh, the, uh, there were no clinical signs or evidence of compromise to the upper motor neurons or the uh, higher centres. Deep tendon reflexes measured two out of four, bilaterally equal and present and without reinforcement. Muscle power testing measured five out of five on the MRC scale for power testing. The sensory testing entailed the spinothalamic tract for sharp and dull and the dorsal column and the dorsal column medial meniscus tract for the joint position sense or proprioception and vibration, both tracts again, which were unremarkable. Were there to have been any abnormalities, I would consider further a further assessment, uh, perhaps a complete neurological examination of the lower extremities and a neurological examination of the cranial nerves. In terms of investigations, I could consider, in addition to bloods and other uh, bedside tests, I could consider um, uh, nerve conduction testing or uh, the possibility of a CT scan and the likes of. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you.